Okay. All right. Now, let's move on to the next idea here. Um, okay. So. So, then I, you know, I'm thinking about the Big Bang. And I'm thinking to myself. Um, I'm thinking to myself about the Big Bang. I'm thinking, okay, um, there's like a, a, an initial action. It's like a explosion, right? Okay, so, so, okay, so. So, uh, where's my note? Where's my note? Um, okay, I think I have it on this. I think I have it. Okay. okay, so what I'm proposing here is a Big Bang wave time theory of cosmic evolution. Okay, so, so basically, okay, the elements that make up our current universe were either compressed in one tiny little point prior to the Big Bang and then they spread out during the Big Bang and distributed everywhere or the elements could have pre-existed in the universe and then but then there was this cosmic event from this really dense you know uh, universal central that you know uh, that that exploded and then kind of like caught up the elements as it was expanding you know okay so so I, that's just a little side note i don't know if that's even true of science today or not i'm just thinking of that and so so um okay so right now um uh as i'm talking about that let me show you the um um okay so the 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 specific uh, the specific thing that I, I was thinking about was this this ripple effect. You know, like when you throw a when you throw a stone into a pond and you see the ripple, and those ripples, you know, can be compared to the the blast wave of the Big Bang. Okay, now now here's the thing. We've already looked out into the deep space field and we've seen that what's happening? Space is getting, it's expanding. It's going at a faster rate. Okay, so what does this mean? What does this mean? I have no idea. I have no idea. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. If the universe is a sphere, if it was from a Big Bang, and it went like this, okay, then and we're looking out on the edge of that border, and we can see that the universe is going away from us at a quicker rate. What we're looking at that wave, we're looking at that blast wave out there okay from the initial big bang okay that's that's what i'm proposing here okay and what i'm saying is okay the implication is that each ripple of each ripple of space moving away from the big bang okay is experiencing a different rate of time okay because as you get faster, time slows down. So what happens, okay? So, so here's, here's a little diagram. Okay, so let me see if I can do a little picture of this. And if I have a, um, okay. Okay, so like, okay, like let's say, let's say this is, this is the central, point of from the Big Bang okay 
and everything is like exploding out from it like this. Okay, now as this wave gets bigger and bigger, and it just keeps going and going, okay, like, okay, okay, um, as it goes through here, it's, it's actually carrying with it the elements that make up our universe. Now, now let's say that this is our region right here. And we just happen to be caught on that ripple of the Big Bang. But within there, nothing has been created yet. It's still evolving. It's still... It's the cosmic evolution is occurring, okay? Now, what do we know about here? We know that right here, time hardly even existed at all. Okay? But as soon as this explosion occurred, okay, this is when time began to speed up very rapidly. Now, the faster this blast wave was going, the more time slowed down on the, on, the, on the crust of the wave. It's like you're surfing. It's like you're surfing. Have you ever seen a surfer? And then they catch a wave and they're like, they're like riding the wave, but then all of a sudden the wave passes them up. And what do they do? They slide off the back of the wave and the wave keeps going. So here's what I'm proposing. I'm proposing that our region of space was riding that crust of the wave, of the initial blast wave, for some period of time. Let's say, oh, let's just make up a number. Let's say, let's say two billion years, okay? And it was just, riding the wave but during that period the time in here on that wave as it was traveling was slower than the time on the inside of the wave because as soon as our region of space slipped off the back of that blast wave that's when time sped up <laughs> 